can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hm. For all I of one hour. I marry his brother too. Not to I mention wouldn't put Cersei it past and Jaime. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Oh, I'll figure it out, Tom. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Over honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. It must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. I can't move it. Won't budge. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. Here to be executed in the morning. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I owe you for this. If we make it out alive, I... Well, now that you mention it... What? I want to go with you, Garrett. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it'll work. It's rusted a bit inside. 
I can try, but it may not do any good. Can you see any other way out? There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. It's not loose enough. That might be useful. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. I managed to avoid Finn, but he'll turn us in the first chance he gets. Trust me. Then we better be ready. I can get us through the tunnel. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and... 
things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I want to try talking to him first, see if we can work this out. And if that fails? Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. You? I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? She'll never marry you, Griff. She'll do what she's told. Just as you did, Roderick. And so will he. When I'm through with him. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Griff. You know that. Oh! You got quite the mouth on you, Roderick. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man, and who's the cripple. <coughs> Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You planning to stop me? <coughs> oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. Not today. Accept it. You're just embarrassing yourself. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Come on, defend your lord. Kill anyone that moves. You heard him! Stand down! You can't do this! Now then, about humility... Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family! Let go of me! I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! All of you! <laughs> Is this the man 
one you'd rather have? This cripple. I think he wants more. <laughs> Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> oh! <gasps> My eye! Roderick, listen to you me! Fucking! My eye! <laughs> Roderick! Oh, oh you fuck! Oh. Oh. You I need yield. to stop this right I, I now! I yield! I yield! No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him, I'm protecting Ryan! When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Lord Vital doesn't have to find out. You can only keep this a secret for so long. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the Ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! and getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of shit-brained fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? Ugh. I'd never work with a bloody show like you Pesca, anyway! what the hell is going on? Pfft, you gonna lecture me too? <laughs> oh, the fuck? Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? You're the only one I'm even fucking here! You told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Beska! We're done talking. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Uh, oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You want to help? Come on! I'm not going to do that! I'm afraid of I was a slave here in this fucking city
I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't.